Hi, and welcome to History Makers. I'm Matt Prater. Today we're chatting to Cecina. She is an incredible singer-songwriter. She's toured Australia. She's based in the US, and uh, we just love her music. We're going to hear a bit of a story today. Uh, Cecina, welcome along. Tell us a bit of your background. Where were you born and raised? Oh my goodness. Well, thank you so much for having me. I absolutely just love your country. And I got to visit for the first time um, a couple months ago towards the end of 2023 and absolutely just had the best time. Um, so, so beautiful. Um, my background, I'm from the United States. I'm from the Midwest. So kind of outside of Detroit, Michigan, um, and grew up in a Christian home, uh, grew up in the church. And I actually as far as music goes, I fell in love with um, my mom would sing on the worship team as a little girl and my dad would run the sound at the church. So we'd have Sunday morning, Sunday night services. So it was just around music and around worship. Um, and I had a children's pastor when I was pretty young that was quite attentive to young people's like giftings and giving just like little opportunities to explore those gifts. Um, and so my children's pastor, when I was like six, asked me to lead worship, <laughs> yeah, which was really sweet. But that was definitely a huge seed that was planted as, as a young girl. And um, I just fell in love with singing. I love music. And I fell in love with actually country music initially. Um, and so when I was 10, 11, and 12, I would travel fairs and festivals um, in the Midwest just singing country music because I loved it. <laughs> and uh, there was a publisher, song publisher from Nashville um, that would kind of be in that fair festival circuit <laughs> and kind of scout talent. And, uh, we kept crossing paths and she was ultimately the one, um, when I was 12, she invited me to come to Nashville and she was like, you know, I see a lot of potential in you and would love to see if songwriting is something that she'd be interested in. And so my family just felt like God was opening a really unique door. And so I, uh, came back and forth from Detroit to Nashville, did a bunch of writing trips, signed a publishing deal with her company at 13, um, and then my family ended up moving the next year. So that was kind of like the launch into music, into songwriting, and uh, it's been really cool to see how God's just taken on so many different twists and turns, and I've been able to just walk and be a part of a journey that I never, never imagined, uh, would be. And so now I'm independent artist making a little, not country music. <laughs> um, but I'm so grateful for that foundation and, um, just what God's done in me and what he's allowed me to be able to, to do with creativity. Fantastic. Well, let's, let's step back to six year old Sasina, you know, your first time singing at church, you know, do you remember your first ever song that you sang? Was it like a hymn? Was it a chorus? Do you remember your first ever song? <laughs> There's like, it's like a little bit of a fuzzy memory. I'm like, yeah. I want to say it was open the eyes of my heart, but yeah. I feel like it was, it was one of those like nineties worship yep. treasures. And I do remember, I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it's like the, uh, that overhead projector thing Yeah, <laughs> that you had like the transparent. So I know the lyrics were on that guy in wow. the basement of the church, uh, it was like open the eyes of my heart or something in that space, but I don't yeah. remember the exact song. But yeah. I remember <laughs> yeah. doing the the OHP, the overhead, overhead projector. I used to have to do that, and you change the lyrics and you put the screen. Oh, I remember that. Flashback <laughs> memories. <laughs> yeah, very much so. Oh my goodness, classic. So, so it's great to, and you know, so many well-known artists started in church. Yeah, um, it's a great foundation. Uh, yeah. not only musically, but spiritually, obviously. Uh, so that's yeah. been a foundation for you. Um, I'm also curious to know a little bit about your time in Australia. Uh, tell us uh, where you went. What did you love about our country? Oh, my goodness. I loved it so much. It was like anything that I could have dreamed. It like exceeded every expectation. Um, I had a chance to open for a couple dates uh, for Jeremy Camp on the East Coast. So I was on the Sunshine Coast. Brisbane, um, and in Sydney. So definitely more on the East coast traveling up and down there. Um, but I just loved it. And there's a gentleman that's been mentoring me and we'll jump on a zoom call. Um, and just been kind of like a spiritual father and also just given a lot of wisdom with business. His name is Anton Becker. And so 
when I went down there, we kind of made a road trip of it. They're based a little bit outside of Sydney. And so we went up the coast and went back down. So I, I really got a chance. I, I totally don't mind driving. So I, <laughs> I loved actually the kind of the road trip approach and just getting a chance to see, just see a bunch of the like landscape um, and beautiful beaches. And I just, I, just really treasure the people though that I had a chance to meet. Um, that's definitely my favorite part is the the wonderful relationships and friendships uh, coming out of that time. Um, and then also like the United States has is so vast with like variety as far as you've got the desert, you've got the ocean, hills, mountains, all the things, but it's very different <laughs> in Australia. So I'm like, ooh, you're like birds and like the animals that you have are definitely different from what we have over here so i i think that's quite delightful as well <laughs> okay well i i actually do remember meeting you at the radio station you, you were being interviewed by someone else and uh i snuck in and got a quick selfie with you so i do remember meeting you that's right yeah. yes that was yeah. wonderful and i remember uh trying to tag you on social media and trying to work out how to spell your name correctly so you you probably oh, no. get you, you probably get that a lot. So tell us about the name Sersina. How did you come up with that name? Sure. Um Sersina is actually my last name. So my first name some people call me Molly um because that's my first name and Sersina is my last name and it is spelled like that. So it's spelled S V R C I N A. Um and the V is like either pronounced like a U or it's just silent. Um, and the family heritage is Czech. So my dad's side of the family has a lot of Czech and Eastern European, mm -hmm. uh, Czech, German, Polish, little Bulgarian yep, <laughs> kind yep. of vibe. So it's definitely a melting pot, but the uh, name Sersina is Czech. Oh, okay, good. Well, I'm glad you explained that because I actually used to have a sound guy at my church that was Czech. And um, okay. he'd get up and he'd say, Czech one, two, Czech, Czech. That's a terrible joke. I'm sorry. I just oh, had that to. That's a perfect joke. I love for those. It's perfect. Thank I'm you sorry. For that. No, I kind of, kind of walked right into that one. That was beautiful. <laughs> now I understand there's been a big move recently. You you were based in Nashville. You know, it's the heart of country music, the heart of Christian music. I spent a few days there uh, 18 months ago. Just loved, you know, Music City. So cool. Uh, but then you've moved over. To California. Tell us about uh, why the big move. Yeah, so I moved in September of 2021 and um, is definitely part of my faith journey as a young woman. Um, God woke me up in the middle of the night in 2019 and um, I, I sleep very well, I will say that. <laughs> so he like woke me up out of my sleep and I felt the Holy Spirit was like, will you sell everything and follow me? And he just started downloading the scriptures where that is um, in the Bible, where Jesus asked his disciples to follow him. And so I didn't realize that that was kind of opening up the process of me moving to California. It kind of took me a little bit longer than I wish to like wake up and smell the coffee of exactly where he was headed with that one. Um, but I did like my heart had a response that I did like started getting on Facebook marketplace and the whole thing. <laughs> so over time, he made it clear that he was asking me to move to California. And I was having this conversation yesterday. Um, just interesting, because Nashville is the hub for Christian music and for country music, the songwriting community is amazing. And I, I love it there. I'm so grateful for my time there. Um, but as like in moving out to California, I can understand why God had me um, come here as an independent artist with making music for people to listen to, but also having those faith undertones there and just the people that I've gotten to meet and interact with has been been incredible. Um, and it's also stretched me quite a lot in in my faith and has is teaching me a lot about trusting trusting God in a deeper way because I don't have family on the west coast technically um after i moved i had i have one brother that temporarily moved to california <laughs> and now he's leaving so it's i don't have blood family on the west coast so it's been a really definitely uh a lot of practicing hearing the voice of the holy spirit and just following his lead so really i just felt the lord asked me to come and over time it's kind of unfolding uh 
the purpose as as to why. Well, I'm curious to know about uh, what Christian artists you connect with, because you know uh, often you know Christian artists will tour together, or they'll write songs together, or they'll you know form a bit of a community together. Um, and obviously, you can do a lot online uh, these days. Yeah. But tell us who are your like who are your influences? Who are your buddies in the Christian music scene? Who do you connect with? Yeah, there's some like really amazing artists in the like independent space. And so there's definitely been quite a lot of collaboration there. Um, but there's artists like Sarah Reeves is is a dear friend, really treasure her. Um, I There's another gal, her name is Vanessa Campagna. And like a lot of these artists, it's really cool because they have music and they either do like, Chris, they have faith in faith undertones in our believers and love the Lord. And they'll do like, they'll do worship. They also create music for sync licensing, like music for film and TV and dance music. They'll do dance collaborations, just other genres and are releasing music independently. Um, so like Sarah Reeves, there's another guy whose name is Abe Parker, who's doing amazing and um, really great artists, Zach Paradise. Um, so there's definitely some people in the independent space. And then um, Reach Records in Atlanta is uh, a hip hop label. They have a lot of Christian hip hop artists and I've had a chance to collaborate with like Lecrae and Holvi. Um, and they have been expanding their territory and signed some like Afro gospel artists. And that's been really inspiring for me as well. Um, I love the like sonic palette of like Afro beats and uh, like the lyrics that they have are just super powerful. So. There's there's some amazing gems. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Well, I love to hear uh, that you're, you know, branching out and not not just you know sticking with one you know little genre or little corner of of the music world. You know, you you're branching out, you're collaborating, you you know, and you got to do that these days, don't you? You know, you got to, uh, you know, and I know we play uh, some of your music here in Australia. Uh, have you got a, a, you know, a tour planned? Are you going to come back down under at some stage? Any plans? Yes, so there are definitely plans working. Yep. Um, I'm super excited. We just confirmed that I'm going to be a part of the Connect uh, conference for the Christian Media Arts September 24th through 26th. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll be doing definitely a lot of singing, doing a little bit of worship, and I believe like a workshop and panel kind of thing. So I'm super excited to be a part of that. And thank you again, you guys so much for playing some of my music. It really means a ton. And I've so enjoyed my time getting a chance to come to the, the studio last year as well. Um, so yeah, so September, October, and I am planning some tour dates. Nothing has been confirmed yet, but just keep an eye on the socials and I'll be posting where, where we land. Um, but I'm so excited to come back this year. It's definitely, definitely a dream. Well, we'll definitely watch this space and uh, hopefully we'll get to see you uh, doing some uh, performances down under. I'm going to get a photo for my social media right now. So give us a wave. Yeah. Um, so if people do want to look you up on socials, um, once again, uh, they can search up Sasina, S-V-R-C-I-N-A. Uh, mm -hmm. You're on uh, all the socials. So you're on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Pokemon Go. Do you do that one? Or... Pokemon Go. Uh, <laughs> that one, I, I'm a... Uh... I'm kind of failing on that one. Yeah, okay, so all right, not the Pokemon, but TikTok, my TikTok. TikTok, YouTube, like all the other things. Um, and it, the handle is usually Circina Songs. Um, but usually when you just start typing in SVR, it'll come up pretty <laughs> pretty <Yeah>. quickly. <laughs> Very cool. Well, I do follow you on socials and I love uh, I love your content. Has that changed the way that you connect with your fans? Like, do you, do you see that as like, a ministry opportunity as well as you know prom promoting your products you know yeah completely and i've like with social media because i know it can be kind of a interesting space to be in the mix of um it's been definitely a journey to really frame in like my perspective that it is a platform for ministry and i think probably covid really shifted my perspective in a huge way because there wasn't a choice everybody everybody's online um, and there was a season where nobody was doing anything in person. So the best way to go to people would be through social media or through those media platforms. Um, and I've had some really beautiful conversations. People have, will send messages and 
Um, at one point for some releases, I opened up like a phone line so people could call and I would have a chance to like pray for people, <laughs> which was really wonderful. So it, social media, definitely, it's kind of a neutral tool. It can be used for good or can not be. Um, but it, there's definitely a lot of opportunity there uh, to connect with people in a sweet way. Awesome. And before we wrap up to, you know, you mentioned that you were raised singing in church. Uh, I, I didn't get to find out. Did you like always have a faith or did you do the prodigal son thing and stray for a while or what, what's your testimony? Yeah. I mean, I definitely kind of quietly strayed in a way. It wasn't like an obvious thing, um, but I gave my heart to Jesus at six years old. And I definitely had a definitive moment where I was at a Sunday night service at church and I felt the conviction of the Lord. And I was like, I need Jesus in my heart. It's like not good in there. <laughs> and so I definitely had a moment and I'm so grateful for um, just a family that helped set that foundation. But I think just throughout adolescence and becoming a young woman and in that process of leaving your father and mother's house, there was some growing pains with that and some wrestling that I had to do. Um, so there have been ways where it wasn't like an obvious, so still talking to the Lord, <laughs> but really struggling in, in a sense of kind of running, um, running from him and running from the call on my life. Um, kind of in that late teen, early twenties patch for sure. Um, and, the Lord is so kind to, uh, yeah, just continue speaking, put people in your life that will bring you back to the center and just the Holy Spirit really grabbing a hold of my heart. Um, and so I love him very much <laughs> uh, with all the wanderings. And I know nobody's perfect, so we've all got kind of a winding journey there for sure. But uh, he's he's super amazing. Well, I can see by the smile on your face and the joy uh, in your heart, I can see that you love the Lord, and uh, it's been uh, an honor to be able to catch up with you today. Uh, Susina, I reckon you're a history maker. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, God bless you. It's so wonderful to chat with you. Thank you so much. All right. God bless. Have a good one. Thanks. Thanks for God bless you. Awesome. Thanks, Matt. I Thank appreciate you. Love it. it. You. Awesome. So lovely to chat with you. Yeah. I'm hoping to be at the conference, so I'll, I'll try and come and say good day. Okay. Oh, good, good, good. Yay. Yep. Hopefully, and what I'll do is I'll. I'll upload a photo and I'll tag you and everything. So if you if you see that, that'd be cool as well. So perfect. I'll repost it in my story. That's perfect. Awesome. Bless you. Yay. Thanks. Awesome. Bless you, Matt. Thank you. Bye. Bye.